the Library of Congress, we have this National Film Registry where we prefer preserve culturally and aesthetically and uh, historically significant uh, American films, mm -hmm. 25 a year are selected by the Librarian of Congress. And they said, and we're interested in all kinds, all genres of films, not just Hollywood features, but uh, news uh, reels, documentaries, uh, uh, travel, home movies. I got in touch with the Library of Congress and finally heard from the librarian himself. He put me in touch with Mike Michon, who's in charge of their visual uh, moving image department. And I went down and I showed them some uh, VHS and DVDs that I had of my family and travel films. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, well, now, do you have the original 16 millimeter film footage for these pictures that go back to the 30s? And I said, oh, yes, I do. I've been carefully uh, saving and protecting, them. well, preserving them. One film that our family had made, the most outstanding one, was about a trip to Disneyland. We entered a contest with Scotch Brand Sullivan Tape. It turned out we won a free trip for a whole week to visit Disneyland. And that was, oh, the high point of our lives because we had the most wonderful time and we made a movie of it. Mm -hmm. And in 2008, it named Disneyland Dream as part of that to be preserved for all time. After Disneyland Dream was um, announced for the uh, to be in the Library of Congress Film Registry, the National Film Registry. Uh -huh. uh, I got an email and it said, hey, I'm Steve Martin, the actor and the comedian. I couldn't believe it. But he said, I think, yeah, I think I'm in your Disneyland film. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, it turns out that he was working that same summer, 1956, out at the entranceway of uh, uh, Disneyland. And in one scene, uh, we took a picture of the train driving by the, the main station, uh -huh. and at the bottom of that frame, there's a figure with a black top hat and a striped shirt uh, walking along there with a program. That was what he was doing. He was selling programs there at that very spot. And it only lasts for about three seconds, but he said, I'm absolutely certain that the figure there in the top hat at the bottom of your frame is, uh, is myself. <laughs> so, uh, oh, this was exciting to know that, and we, uh, I've been corresponding with him from time to time from that. He sent me a copy of his book, his autobiography, which tells about his time at Disneyland, mm -hmm. and I sent him, of course, an autographed copy of the, the Disneyland Dream DVD, and uh, he's, uh, he, he just, it was so much fun to think that we were probably the first time he ever got put on uh, film like that.